Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode on the St. Lucia Hill Climb on the Flat Out Media channel and today we are here in something that's absolutely insane. I've had to turn down the volume a little bit because this car is just insanely loud and I don't know how it's going to do. I really don't. It's an open cockpit. It's an Oracle FLM09. Currently... Um, forward oh so if I if I let the revs die down oh nice that stalls it nice this thing's gonna be fun This thing's gonna be well interesting, interesting to stay to say the least. Stall it again. There we go. Just to move it up a little bit. Alrighty, and here we go, getting ready for a run here. Three, two, one, and away we go. And off we go here. I don't know how this car is gonna fare. Oh. The answer is it's quite scary. It's really quite scary. Really, really scary. Oh. When I see. Oh, that kicked out. Uh, we're, that, that we're dead now. So, guys, that was the, a very good lesson on what not to do if you're driving this car. So, let's see what happens when you can drive it. I honestly thought we stalled it. This car is an absolute maniac, though. Oh, as we just... Yeah, okay. All right, maybe attempt to number three. I'm gonna need to go to the washroom after this. Oh, as we just, yeah, there was nothing we could do there because I didn't want to tap on the brakes too much in case we stalled it. All right, maybe attempt to number four. Straight up into the wall we go. Which means I'm thinking, yeah, there's it. We pinged off of two things there. Maybe the sixth dry? Christ. And we've crashed it. Sorry, buddy. Um, I might have just killed you there. Didn't mean to. It's just this car. Alright. Maybe next time? And then when you try to get power down, and then you walk up and you go into a barrier like that. Uh, maybe another try. Well, guys, when I originally looked at this car, I thought, oh, well, what could go wrong? As we already ding up the front bumper before the start line. Oh, well. We're already killing all, like, the bushings and bearings and everything anyways. So let's get ready to go here in three, two, one. Let's go. So yeah, I was thinking, oh, well, what could go wrong? What's the worst that could happen with this car? Looks like it's relatively low to the ground and it's pretty quick should be able to compete with that Porsche pretty well right of course it would be able to I think if it would stay on the track and wouldn't walk up and slide on every corner and wouldn't kill itself like every single corner here no joke I am fighting it I'm fighting it every single corner there's no not fighting this car. At this point, I'm just kind of sticking it in a second gear and keeping it there. But yeah, even there, and we we slid there. Luckily, it didn't. Slow us down too much. 
but yeah, this car is insane. Absolutely ridiculous. But it's not ridiculous in a way that other cars are ridiculous. Like that GT350 was just ridiculous because, well, like, what the heck is it doing here? You know what I mean? This car is ridiculous in a way of this car just gets thrown around everywhere. And it's easily going to demolish the leaderboards. Easily. That was, like, no problem for it. No problem at all. A 136-1 for our first run. That's, that's good. Oh, I still got to do this. Th I still got to do this another two times. All right. Well, let's take another shot at it. In the third gear, onto the brakes a little bit, and we crashed it again. Oh well. All right. Maybe next time. Ah, oh. it felt like we were far enough away. Apparently we weren't though. Maybe the next run. Oh, no braking there. We just smoked our tires and our brakes. Oh well. So note to self, brake earlier and brake more gently. Alright, so here we are, getting ready to go for what will hopefully be our second valid run. Hopefully, possibly, maybe, maybe not. So, let's go ahead and build up revs here in 3, 2, 1, and away we go. Just up to third gear, no problem. There's no point in being in a lower gear. Try to keep the car under control here. And we just, we kind of slid over there, kind of tapped the wall, but oh well. Tapping the wall is okay-ish. I've been to a third year, a little bit of a tap on the brakes there. Because the one thing that we have to keep in mind is that it might seem like we're going slow around these corners. But, really, it's because we're in an open seater. Oh, tap the wall there a little bit, too. Yeah, and this car is ridiculous. Like, we got up to 150 there. That's not generally a speed that we should be getting up to on this course. And onto the brakes. Down into a second gear. And almost top of the wall there. And fire it out the other side. And not as quick as the first run. But, oh well. I'll take that run any day of the week. At least it's a second run. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get the third run done. That seemed to work with, for us last time. So I'm gonna stick to it again. A little bit of a dab on the brakes, and we just wreck it terribly. Oh well, I guess we have to try again. Alright guys, so here we are getting ready to go here for what will hopefully be our third and final run. Let's go ahead and let's, sure, here's good I guess. Three, two, one, and away we go. Up into third gear once again, off the line. And yeah, it's not so much the fact that this vehicle's quick. I can handle the speed of it. What I can't handle is the controllability of it. Like, you're pretty much riding passenger. Wherever this car wants to go on this road, 
it goes. There's no question about it. There's no asking you first, hey, I kind of want to go this way. Can I go this way? It's, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going this way now. So, uh, yeah, I'm taking you along for the ride. And that's essentially what it is. There's no asking you politely, hey, I know you don't want to go this way. Oh, well, we topped off of there. There's nothing we could have done there. Just kind of understeered into oblivion. Down into a second gear. To hopefully get more in the top end out of this car. But yeah, there's really nothing that you can do to counter what this car does. There's just nothing you can do. You're either into the bush, or you're into the guardrail, or wherever the vehicle decides to put you on this certain day. Which sucks, it really does. There we go, up and across the line. We already had a blistering time, so I didn't feel the need to push it that hard on this run. Plus, I was getting kind of uh, tired of this car and getting quite frustrated at it for its lack of controllability. But guys, um, I think our fastest time was what, like a 136? So let's go see how far ahead of the Porsche it is on the leaderboards. All right, guys, so here we are at the leaderboards and the Orica FLM09 goes into, well, a solid first place with a 136.174, about 5 seconds ahead of the Porsche 911 Turbo S, and a full 10 seconds ahead of both the Ford Mustang and the Audi S1. That's pretty impressive, and you know what I said last episode about having to get the right car for this track? This team seems to be a testament for this, because we have four different cars and four, well, three very different times. We have one that's 136, we have one that's 141, and then we have one that's 146. So we have two times that are 10 seconds apart, and then we have one that's right in the middle. So it really depends on the car, I think, with this one. Uh, and yeah, it's a really challenging course. I'm really enjoying it so far. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys all in the next one. And don't forget to stay flat out.